There's a huge misconception around personal branding. A lot of professionals and corporate people think it's only for entrepreneurs. Even if you search through YouTube now and you write personal branding, you will see a lot of the videos are targeted towards entrepreneurs talking about how to build a brand to get clients or how to build a brand to be able to grow your business. But building your personal brand isn't only for entrepreneurs. The concept is the same at the end of the day. If an entrepreneur doesn't put themselves out there, doesn't talk about the product that they have, they don't market it, ultimately they're not gonna make any sales. But the concept is the same in the corporate world in the sense that if you're a professional, you're not putting yourself out there, you're not speaking about the skills and strengths that you have, you're not sharing your achievements, opportunities are not going to be able to find you because no one knows what you do. When you are building your personal brand, what it creates is top of mind awareness. And as a professional, this is as relevant to you, even if it's a marketing term that comes from the business world. And what it ultimately means is that, let's say an opportunity comes up and it's a project manager job. What you want it to happen is that immediately when that opportunity comes up, people will think of you because you've been posting on LinkedIn, talking about project management. You've been writing a blog where you're sharing your insight, you're sharing your knowledge about project management. People know that this is what you do. People know that it's your area of expertise. When you go to meetings, you share about the achievements that you've had in the field. So when an opportunity does come up, people will think, oh yeah, so-and-so is the right person for this because they have proven time and again that they have the knowledge and the skills required for the role. So there are many benefits to personal branding. I'm going to share five more with you. I've already shared one, which is top of mind awareness. The second one is career advancement. As you begin to build your personal brand, as you begin to position yourself as a leader in your industry, it will help you in terms of standing out from the crowd because not everyone is doing it. So it is an easy way for you to really showcase what you have to offer and to be able to position yourself as that leader. In addition, it is said that 91% of employers will use social media, so social media generally, not just LinkedIn, as part of their recruitment strategy. So those numbers already tell you that people are looking. They are looking at what you're posting online. They are looking at the information that you're sharing on your LinkedIn profile. And at the end of the day, it will only benefit you to ensure that you've built a brand that represents who you are and that will enable you to attract the right opportunities. Another benefit of building your personal brand is influence. It allows you to position yourself as a thought leader in your industry, which ultimately will enable you to attract opportunities like speaking engagements, media opportunities. So you really have this opportunity to influence your industry at large by building your own personal brand. Another benefit of a well-defined personal brand is that it's great for networking opportunities. It will allow you to connect with mentors, with sponsors, with like-minded professionals who may be in your industry or may be wants to gain insights and share information with you. So it's a great tool to be able to share knowledge, but also to build partnerships with organizations or with individuals who are similar to you or who have similar professional backgrounds as you. And the great thing about a platform like LinkedIn, for example, where many of you most likely are building your personal brand, I hope, <laughs> is that it allows you to be in front of a global audience. This is not just uh, building your personal brand within your company or your organization where only your team knows you or only that industry, you know, that specific job knows you. It's about you showcasing what you have to offer basically to the world. So it's a great way to also attract opportunities that may have not come your way because they are global opportunities. With the way the job market is right now, a lot of people are saying that job security doesn't exist anymore. It's an old concept that no longer exists. People are job hopping. People 
are changing careers a lot more frequently. I firmly believe that building a personal brand provides you with job security. It allows you to change roles a lot more rapidly and it does help you also to attract opportunities instead of always being the one looking out for them. You may not be someone who is job searching, but because you've been able to build your personal brand, people may reach out to you for opportunities. And that does provide you with some kind of job security because it really allows you to build a reputation that precedes you. It allows people to know who you are even though they haven't met you. It allows you to really put yourself out there, share your knowledge and expertise so that when an opportunity does arise, people will know that you're the best person and you're the best fit for that role. So this is one of the great benefits of building a personal brand. Last but not least, building your personal brand is a confidence boost. Really, even taking the time to recognize that, wow, you've been able to achieve all these amazing things. It's not often that we stop to think about the achievements that we've made in our career, but when you're intentionally building your personal brand, it's something that you're a lot more conscious of. And because of that, it allows you to follow your growth. It allows you to look at the journey that you've taken and really recognize that, wow, you have come a long way. And that is definitely a confidence boost. So let me know in the comments, have you invested in building your own personal brand in your career? What benefits has it had for your career? Has it made any difference at all? I would love to hear your experiences about building your personal brand and what difference it's made. So let me know in the comments. If you're just getting started with building your personal brand, check out this video right here where I share more insight on how to do that. See you in that one. Take care.